Right. Um. Now, um, the I'm going to do questions and answers about the heart now. Um, so arteries carry blood away from the heart. Veins carry blood back into the heart. The left side of the heart receives oxygenated blood. The right side of the heart receives deoxygenated blood. So I'm going to do some questions and answers about the heart now. Um, why is the heart referred to as a double pump? Because the right side pumps blood to the lungs and the left side to the, to the body. What is the structural difference between the left side of the heart and the right? Left side is thicker, right? So that's the answer to that one. The left side is thicker. Which blood vessel carries blood at high pressure? Well, that's the arteries. Which blood vessel can uh, carry, carry blood at low pressure? Which blood vessels carry blood at low pressure? That's the veins. And what leaks out of the capillaries to supply the cells with nutrients and oxygen? That's the tissue fluid. Uh, what, which side of the heart contains deoxygenated blood? That's the right side. So the right side uh, contains deoxy deoxygenated blood. Uh, name two blood vessels that enter the heart. Well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to name one blood vessel, actually. One blood vessel that enters the heart is the vena cava, which is the main uh, vein of the body. Um, name, name a vessel, one vessel, blood vessel that leaves, that leaves the heart. The, um, the aorta. The, the aorta is the main artery of the, of the body. Um, uh, so, yeah, and, and what are valves, valves for? V-A-L-V-E-S. Uh, what, are, what are valves for? What's the function of a valve? Well, it's to prevent back, it's to prevent black backflow of blood in the heart and the veins. So I just thought I'd mention that to you. Um, the, the, I'm going to talk about four valves now, four, four valves, valves, V-A-V-V-E-S. Right, the tricuspid valve is found between the right atrium and the right ventricle and allows oxygen poor blood to flow from the right atrium into the right ventricle. So it's sort of, it's depleted, the oxygen's de depleted, um, and I think it's, it's obviously rich in carbon dioxide. If it's deoxygenated, it'll be rich in carbon dioxide as, a, as opposed to being oxygenated. So that's the, tri that's the definition of the, of the tricuspid valve. The pulmonary valve, which is actually known as the semi... Is one, actually, you've got four, you've got two semilunar valves, two semilunar valves, and um, two atrioventricular valves. And so, yes, the tricuspid valve is actually... Uh, it, there are two of them. It's, it's one of the atrioventricular valves. And then you've got the... Which I'm going to come on to. So, um, yeah, so the pulmonary valve is one of the, is, is one of the semilunar valves. Uh, the pulmonary, pulmonary valve is located between the right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk. Um, and pulmonary, as you know, is to connect, means to do with the lungs, I think, doesn't it? So um, it allows the flow of oxygen, um, poor blood, depleted blood, to be pumped out of the heart into the pulmonary artery to go to the, to the lungs for reoxygenation. Now, I'm going to mention now the mitral valve. The mitral valve um, is another word for the bicuspid valve, and it's also the atrio, atrioventricular valve. And these words all mean the same thing. Um, so, yes, so the, the mitral valve is located between, it's found or located between the left atrium and the left ventricle. The bicuspid valve or mitral valve, because uh, they mean the same thing, permits, an, permits or allows oxygenated blood to be pumped into the left ventricle. And now I've got the aortic valve now. This is, a, this is, another, this is the other semilunar valve. And the aortic valve is um, located between the left ventricle and the aorta, allowing blood to be pumped out from the heart to, into the aorta for distribution around the body. So yes, um, so if we just recap, the, the, largest, uh, blood, the largest vein of the body is the, um, the vena cava, V-E-N-A-C-A-V-A. Uh, -E -A -A. uh, that's the largest... Um, vein, uh, largest vein of the body, 
the main vein of the, sorry the main vein of the body, and the the main artery of the body is the is the aorta. Uh, so there's two blood vessels here, one being the vena cava and the other being the aorta. Um, and they go in opposite directions. So yes, yeah, so I just thought I'd mention that. And then obviously I've spoken about four valves of the body, the um, tricuspid and the, um, and the mitral valve are the, two, are the two atrioventricular valves. And the mitral is also known as the bicuspid, so it, it, bicuspid, bicuspid valve. And the two semilunar valves are the, the pulmonary valve and the a, aortic valve. So I just thought I'd mention that. So um, basically, again, it just sort of talk about something here, just to not, not recap, but just go on to a few more things now. Uh, veins, the ve vena cava, it's, it's a vein, it's emptying, it's emptying oxygen poor blood from the body into the right atrium of the heart. As the atrium, as the atrium contracts, Blood flows from your right atrium into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, just to recap then, yeah, uh, the vein vena cava emptying oxygen poor blood from the body into the uh, right atrium. As the right atrium contracts, blood flows, blood flows from your right atrium into your right ventricle uh, through the open tricuspid uh, valve. So yeah, um, I just yeah so. Basically, the blood enters the heart through the two large vein, vena cavas, vena cavas, superior, the superior and the inferior vena cava. Uh, um, one going, one from high, superior above and inferior below. I, I, I think, not think about, I think that's right. Um, and uh, so, the, it, it's um, it, the blood enters heart through the two large uh, vena cavas, uh, inferior and superior. And emptying oxygen, or emptying oxygen poor blood um, uh, from the from the body into the right atrium. So the right atrium receives oxygen depleted blood that's already been cir circulated around the body. Um, so yeah, the the, the right atrium um, pumps uh, right atrium pumps blood from the right the right the right ventricle pumps blood from the right atrium. Uh, to the pulmonary artery, and the pulmonary ar the pulmonary artery sends uh, deoxygenated blood to the lungs, uh, to where it picks up oxygen, and then the left atrium receives oxygen oxygenated blood from the pulmonary pump from the pulmonary pulmonary vein of the lungs, and um, and then you've got the four chambers of the heart. You've got the two, um, you've got the left atrium and the right atrium. Uh, they're the upper chambers of the heart, and then the lower chambers of the heart are the left ventricle and the right ventricle. Um, yeah, so, um, so that then, then then the sorry, can I just yeah the the so yeah so the pulmonary vein empties oxygen rich blood from the lungs into the left atrium. Um, the blood enters the left atrium, uh, pumps. Uh, to the mitral valve, mitral valve into the left ventricle. So, um, um, yeah, I, I, I sort of see it as the mitral valve is like the piggy in the middle because it's between the left atrium and the left ventricle. Um, so, the, yeah, the, the mitral valve for me is like the sort of analogy of the piggy in the middle. And the mitral valve is also called the, the bicuspid valve. Um, and and then the, from the left ventricle to the blood passes through the aortic valve into the aorta, and then blood uh, is distributed to the body through the systemic circulation. So yeah, I just thought I'd. Uh, it's quite a lot to take in there. Um, so yes, and then um, if. If I mention some other things now, um, the 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 ven venu the ven v e n u l e s um, uh, as formed when capillaries come together, and many uh, many v e n u l e s unite to become veins. So they're small 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 sort of veins. They're they're, they're sort of um, tiny. They're, they're small blood vessels. 
uh, and they're sort of um, and they're small smaller versions of veins. And the arteries transport blood away from the heart and um, branch into smaller veins, into smaller, smaller vessels, sorry, not veins, smaller vessels. Um, so, and they, they, and they form um, arterioles, A-R-T-E-R-I-O-L-E-S, and O-L-E-S, and they form um, smaller um, um, blood vessels. Um, and so, basically, the... The capillaries, uh, which are small blood vessels, join up to form the veins leading out of the organs. The veins join up to form the vena cava that transports deoxygenated de- deoxygenated blood back to the heart. Um, the, the, um, the aorta takes oxygenated blood away from the heart at high pressure. The, a- the aorta splits up into different arteries to supply different or- different organs of the body. The artery splits up into capillaries inside the organs. And the left side of the heart has much thicker walls, is much th- thicker walled vent- ventricle um, uh, it's than, than, than the right ventricle, um, as this side has to pump blood at high pressure to all around the body. So it ejects blood further, the left ventricle, it pushes blood further, um, so, and it's the... Um, uh, um, so yeah, and it's the hardest working. Uh, the left ventricle a, has the thickest muscle mass of all the chambers. Uh, it's the hardest pumping part of the heart. So yeah, so it's it's um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so the, the left side of the heart. If we recap, the left side of the heart has, has thicker walled ventricles, as this side has to pump blood at high pressure all around the body, ejecting further, pushing the blood further. Um, so, yeah. And the name of the blood vessel uh, uh, entering the kidney is, is the renal artery. And, and again, recapping, the left side of the heart contains oxygenated blood. Now, veins, the definition of veins, they carry the blood back to the heart at low pressure. They have valves to prevent, to prevent the blood flowing backwards. And the heart itself is made of a special type of muscle called cardiac muscle. It, co- it contracts continuously without getting tired, um, and it's a uh, yeah, it's a it's a double pump, right? And I'll tell you why it's a double pump. Um, it's a double pump, um, right? Remember, remember, the heart has two sides. The right side of your heart pumps deoxygenated deoxygenated blood from the body to the lungs, and the left side pumps oxygenated blood from the lungs to the body. So um, that, that's what I just thought I'd t- mention that. Um, arteries arteries carry, uh, carry oxygenated blood. Uh, they carry blood away from the heart towards the body at high pressure. They have very thick elastic walls to withstand the high pressure. Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show that to you. Um, Um, yeah, and and also um, so yeah. As, as let's just recap again. The left ventricle ejects blood into the aorta, which then distributes the blood distributes the blood throughout the body. Um, right. So if we just talk about this here, remember the heart has two sides. The right side of your heart pumps oh, deoxy, deoxygen, deoxygenated blood from the body to the lungs, and the left side pumps oxygen, oxygenated blood. From the lungs to the body. That, so basically, blood enters the two atria. Um, the, that's the plural of atrium. Atrium is singular. Uh, via via either the pulmonary vein from the lungs, or the v, or the vena cava from the body. The atria contract and push blood through the tricuspid and bicuspid valves into the ventricles. So the tricuspid is on the right side, and the bicuspid is on the left side. Uh, yeah, so the ventricles contract, forcing blood into either the, the, the aorta to go to the body and the pulmonary, pulmonary artery to go to the lungs. To go to the, lungs. Um, the semilunar valves snap shut to prevent backflow into the v- ventricles. Right, so the semilunar valves snap shut to prevent backflow into the ventricles. Um, yeah, so, yeah, 
and the, the carotid arteries are the blood vessels to the head and the arms. And the aorta takes oxygenated blood away from the heart at high pressure, and the aorta splits into different arteries supplying different organs. So yes, again, if we recap, the semilunar valves snap shut to prevent, to prevent backflow into the ventricles. The oxygenated blood flows around the body in arteries, and the deoxygenated, deoxygenated blood returns in the veins to the atria, and the, and the whole cycle begins again. So yes, so um, the aorta is, is the blood vessel that is the main artery of the body, right? So I just thought I'd mention that. Um, yeah, so, and if I can just show you now the, um, uh, yeah, I just basically, yeah, I want to show you this here. Um, vena cava, let's make sure it's in focus, vena cava, V-E-N-A-C-A-V-A, -A -A. Um, and then the chambers of the heart, two, there, there are two atrium, the upper chambers, and two atrium, two atria, should I say, and uh, two ventricles. And um, so basically, yeah, the left atrium and the right atrium are the upper chambers. And then you've got um, the um, left ventricle and the right ventricle, the bottom chambers of the heart. Um, and then I was mentioning this word V-E-N-U-L-E-S. I mentioned, as I've already talked about, this smaller blood vessels uh capillaries if you like the uh a r t e r o i o o i o l e s the, sm the smaller arteries and veins respectively um and yes i've got here the um the right atrium um at the top the upper cha upper chamber and then you've got the tricuspid valve um and then you've got the right ventricle so the tricuspid valve is sort of sandwiched between the right atrium and the right ventricle and it permits it allows it to flow in one direction as you know valves um and then you've got the left atrium and and the the, the actual diagram of the heart the bicuspid valve is higher up than the tricuspid valve to to accommodate because the left ventricle has thicker walls much thicker walls than the right ventricles it's hardest working part of the chambers of the heart um and then you've got the aorta. So this side, actually, everyone thinks, oh, well, that's left and that's right, but it's not. That is the left side and that's the right side. So it's it's sort of a bit topsy-turvy. You know, you, you would think it's that's the left side, but that actually is the left side. So all this is the left side. Um, so, yeah, and the, so I just thought I'd show that to you. And the, um, loc yeah, so, and then you've got the semilunar valves and they're loc located between the left ventricle and the aorta. And the tricuspid and the bicuspid valves are located between the um, right atrium and right ventricle, and, and left atrium and left atrium and left ventricle. So I thought I'd just show you that. Um, yeah. So um, can I just? So yeah. yeah. Um, and then yeah. So I've got that. Um, right. I'll just.